Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a thumbnail on the app GoDaddy Studio. Um, this app's name previously was Over, so many people know it by Over, but not many people know it by GoDaddy Studio, but that is the new name change. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So let's get into the app. And here you can see here is the app and there are templates and there is a plus icon so if you click on that you can click on image video transparent white or black whichever color you want so this app is nice for you to create a thumbnail at the correct size so if you click transparent then you can just scroll on the bottom to where you see YouTube thumbnail, there you can see thumbnail and on the top it says 1280 by 720 so you know it's correct so then you just click the correction mark on top and now you have your blank canvas to start to create something so you can add your photo to this blank canvas so on the bottom you can see there is image so if I press on it there I have some pictures that I took to create my thumbnail with. So if you have the picture that you want, you can just add it in and you can make it the size of the thumbnail. So then you can know for sure you don't have an image that isn't the right size. So here you can see it is perfect. And then on the bottom you can see filters. So there is so many filters you can choose from. So here you can see there is a pro version so that you do have to pay for but the ones that doesn't say pro version those are for free so they have very beautiful filters over here and there you can see it's categorized so i'm just gonna say none and then here you can adjust it manually so let's make it like that i think like that shadows Okay, I think it is perfect. So then I just again click the correction mark on top. So now I can add text. So if I click on it, then I can add text. So I'm just going to name this thumbnail what's on my MacBook Pro. So the what's on my, I'm going to create a font and the M1 MacBook Pro, I'm going to create another font. So I'm just going to choose this font. As you can see, there are so many beautiful fonts. And again, the ones that have the Pro on them is ones that you have to pay for. So here you can see all the beautiful fonts. I'm going to go with that font and say done. So where the font is, you can see if you swipe on that font you can see different styling options there you can see italic and there's a slimmer version here you can see this font as well i really like that they added that so we're just going to stick with that one then you can change the style and the space you can add caps or curve so i want to add a little curve to my text and I can change the color. So I want mine black so that it pops out with the light background. You can resize it and add a shadow. So there you can see it added a shadow and here with the arrows you can angle it. You can also add a blur. So let's just add a little blur. You can change the color and the opacity of the shadow. And here is the opacity of the text. And you can rotate your text as well. So now I'm going to add the other part of the text. Here I'm just going to add another text. M1 Pro. So let's choose a font for this text. I want it to be a simple font. So let's stick with this one. So I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. Move this one a bit and change the color to black. So there you can see there is already a shadow so I don't have to create a shadow. So with the text I'm going to see if I can make it a little bit thicker. There it is more thicker so that it stands out. Click the correction mark again. So here you can add graphics. As you can see there are those that are for free and those that are with the pro version and here you can see all the categories for a quick search 
So here is where all your layers is. So if I wanted this text at the back of this image, press and hold on these lines and drag it down. So there you can see it's at the back of the image. So I'm just gonna put it there again. So here on the top, you can export it and save it to your gallery. So if you want a plain image, let's go back again and press the plus button again. Let's say white. So there you go to thumbnail again. So here I have my blank canvas and if I press on the bottom at image, I here is a photo I added. So then I can just resize it to make it fit. Click the correction mark on top and you can add another image to this image. So you just press on image again. And here you can see I have a phone. So here I added this phone PNG. Make it like that. And on the bottom you can crop it, resize it, add a shadow. Let's just add a little shadow, make it blur and rotate it. Let's rotate it a bit and make it a bit smaller and click the correction mark on top. You can also rotate it and resize it with your fingers. But if you do it with the app, it is much more accurate and you can do small movements. So now that we have that, we press the correction mark. And then we can add another image to add to the back of the phone, PNG. So then we go to the layers again and add this layer at the back of the phone PNG. So press and hold on the lines again, add it under that. So here you can see I have to rotate it a bit so that it fits well. And just move it, make the size a little bit bigger. So there it's added and you press the correction mark. So here we can add text again. Let's say GoDaddy Studio. Let's set it like that. Let's see if there's another font. Let's choose this font, make it a little bit bigger. Again, add a little shadow that just brings a little extra to the thumbnail and bring a little bit of depth. And now let's add another text tutorial. Okay, here you can also just change your text from here. Let's try that one. Let's rotate it a bit. Add it there. I really love this app. I just wish they had more free options, but this is a really nice app to use. And this is especially nice for you to see your thumbnail size. And it is a great app for beginners. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. Please subscribe to our channel. That would really help us a lot. And remember to click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a video. Feel free to leave a comment down below and give this video a big thumbs up. I hope you guys have a lucky day. Bye!